Hey everyone, this is Ethan. Say hi, Ethan. Hi. You may remember him from such videos as Mom Finally Took Her Ass to the Gym. We are making a Weight Watchers recipe today. It is the mini crustless quiche. And I thought I'd show you how we are doing it. And I will link the recipe in the uh, description. Okay, what we're doing right now is we're sauteing some onions, peppers, and mushrooms. And Ethan's going to give him a stir real quick. And the reason that we're doing this is I'm using already cooked vegetables, leftovers that we have from, uh, just from dinners. So we're giving those a little bit of a head start so that they can keep up with the, uh, cooked vegetables. And what I wanted to mention is we had to make a couple of substitutions. Number one is I live in the tiniest town ever, and we cannot get the, um, garden vegetable flavored egg beaters. There was only one flavored egg beaters, and when we looked at it, it was just a big long list of chemicals and stuff. So we just got this, and I'll just season it with, I don't know, something. I'll throw something in there. So that's why it looks like that instead of all pretty and speckly. Um, number two, we can only find 2% cottage cheese, so I will do the points for ours, but if you use the 1%, that it calls for in the recipe. These are only one point each. And the other substitution is, of course, we are gluten-free. And at my Walmart, the only gluten-free thing that we can get that's not a cake mix is Bisquick. And I didn't have time to run to the Fru-Fru grocery store, little specialty store, to get some gluten-free all-purpose flour mix. So we're using Bisquick. So we hope it works. But what we're gonna do is, Ethan's gonna go ahead and add the chopped vegetables to the pan. Oh, he's going to wash his hands first. He, he was playing with his hair. So once he adds those, we're going to let them cook for a minute and see how much there is. And we may chop up the rest of the zucchini and yellow squash. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead. He's going to go ahead and do that. And then he's going to... You want me over here? Okay. Let's no. see. He's... Big no, just the vegetables. But you read the recipe. And that is uh, broccoli, onions, green beans, tomatoes, zucchini squash, and I just chopped it up pretty finely. So, I don't know, what do you think, Keith? Does that look like enough? It's supposed to be, we have a cup of onions, a cup of mushrooms, you're supposed to have a cup of tomatoes, and a cup of broccoli, so... I'd add, like, one of the small tomatoes. We'll add, you want some tomatoes, or you think some more zucchini and squash? There's enough zucchini and squash, I'd add some more tomatoes. Okay, we're gonna chop up a tomato, we'll be back, bye! Okay, guys, we went ahead and cut up a tomato, Ethan cut a tomato and added it in to the cooking vegetables and let it cook, and now he's going to mix up the egg mixture. He put three quarters of a cup of shredded cheese, right? Three quarters of a cup of cheese, two eggs, and a 16 ounce container of liquid egg whites. So he's going to add 16 ounces of cottage cheese, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a cup of bisquick. All right, oh, and the parsley. Go to it, make it happen. A little faster, just kidding. Okay. Oh, um, while he's doing that, I'm going to tell you, we decided, well, first let me show you this. I don't bake very often. I used to bake all the time, but now that we're gluten-free, I don't bake. So I do not have muffin tins. I have silicone liners, so I just have them in a springform pan. Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. But the recipe says to um, add your cooked vegetables to your egg mixture. Ethan and I both think that that's kind of weird. So... As Ethan pointed out, you need a base for the quiche. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spoon some of the mixture into each cup. And hopefully it'll work. We'll see. All right, he's mixing it up. I'm going to let him do that. I'm going to start filling the cups, and we'll be back. Bye. Okay, we filled a couple, and now we kind of think that maybe you sh we should have added the vegetables. So we're going to go ahead and bake these. Um this way and then we still ha are going to have quite a bit left because these are small muffin tins and this says it makes 24 I think so we will go ahead and mix it per the recipe the next batch and we will let you know it works out better he is going to finish filling these 
and then we are going to bake them at 400 degrees for let me look 400 degrees for 10 minutes and then you knock it down to 350 and bake it for 15 minutes until lightly browned and toothpick comes out clean oh and we're supposed to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top I think I don't know you'd think I would have read the recipe first right but I will uh, sprinkle the cheese and we'll bake them and when we pull them out of the oven we'll be back bye hey guys ah uh, yeah Ethan is much smarter than I, and he remembered that we only have one set of silicone muffin tins, so he decided that we should put it in a, that's probably an 8x8 eight eight square pan. That's exactly an 8x8. Eight eight. It could be a 9x9, nine nine, Smarty. No, you put it. So, anyway, we are going to do that, and then we will just cut it into 12 pieces, and it will be one point. It'll be the same. But let me show you real quick these. Don't those look good? Yeah. Okay. So, when everything's done, when it's out of the oven, I'll let you see what it looks like. Bye. This is my life, okay? To prove me wrong, he went to go get a measuring tape. But who was proven wrong, Ethan? Huh, um, I didn't measure the we, bottom. We, you measured the top. We can't bottom. hear you. Who was proven wrong? Who? It is eight inches at the bottom. Okay, but what is it at the top? It doesn't matter the top. It's the <laughs> bottom that matters. No, it's the top. No, it doesn't. So we're both right? No, I'm right. No, I'm right. Look, it was nine. I have it on film. It was nine. Anyway, so, yeah, this is my life. See? So. Eight inches. Nine inches. I see nine. Because gotta, I, I'm gotta, going from inside here to inside there. You you don't measure it like that. You measure no. it. No. When you measure it. It's TV. my YouTube channel. I'm right. You're yeah, not. If you measure this way, it's like ten inches. We're not well, measuring a TV. It's one foot long. Yeah, see, we're not measuring a TV. So, anyway, we'll call it eight and wait, a half wait, by wait. eight and a half. How's that? Compromise is good. What this is a nine inch, God. This is a nine inch pan. It is eleven inches up there, but nine inches in there. They measure it. Don't ever bottom. teach your children logic. It backfires every time. It's a nine by nine. It's an eight by eight. Nine by nine.